Today we are going to be learning about how to calculate electrical power given either a current and voltages. So this is going to be an assignment where you're going to go home and find electrical appliances and calculate how much money do you actually spend on electrical devices. So electrical power. So first off we got to understand what power is and how that differs from voltage and current. Power is directly related to the current and voltage within the system. Uh, it's how much current is drawn in a certain amount of time. Power is measured in units called watts. So uh, a 60 watt light bulb has 60 power units. So power is a unit where it's uh, current times voltage. So let's do some practice problems. Uh, how much power does an electrical appliance use? So you have a 100 watt light bulb with that uses 120 volts of household power. So that's uh, that's traditional wall socket electricity is 120 here in the United States. It's 240 if you go to Europe or outside the United States. So again, the equation is P equals I V. So power 100 is equal to I V. So the V being 120. So that becomes, if you do this, rearrange the equation and it comes to 0.833. As you take your 100 watts divided by 120, it gives you 0 0.833. And that's your current. Um, a sander has a current of 1.6 amps and uses wall socket electricity. Again, wall socket electricity is 120. So even though it doesn't say what the voltage is, it's right here, household electricity. So kind of realize that they are using this household electricity, which stays the same. So you multiply those two numbers together and you get a current or sorry, a power usage of 192 watts. And then the last one, an electrical range uses 40 amps of current and uses 9.6 kilowatts of power. How, mu how many household sockets does this need? Now realize that this is in kilowatts. That's nine, that's a thousand watts. So that's not 9.6 watts, that's 9,600. So you gotta take 9,600 and then divide it by the 40 and that gives you 240 volts. But that's not what the question is asking you. It says, how many household sockets do you need? Well, one so household socket is 120, so that means it uses two. You're going to have needing two, so uh, two sockets to run an electric range. This is the same. That's your stoves at home. And that's actually true. Uh, stoves and electric stoves and dryers use two outlets they are round black um, and they have a very distinctive shape compared to your traditional american one which is the two prongs with a little circle underneath which is your 120. so this meter that's somewhere around your house maybe electrical maybe it's analog like this one but it's somewhere around your house measures how much electrical work is done by your circuits you know, in a given time. It is measured in kilowatt hours. So it's right there. It tells it even right there. Kilowatt hours. And these little dials tells how much they do. And there's a worker that will come around, read this reading, and then they'll read it a month later, and then they take the difference between those two numbers, and that's how much kilowatt hours you used. So a kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. And I'm not going to go through the proof on this video. But just to say that a kilowatt, a, a watt is equal to energy over time. If you multiply it by time, you just get energy. So now how do we calculate how much money? Well, of a cost of a 100 watt light bulb left on for 24 hours a day for one year. And at the cost of 8 cents and 8.84 8 cents per kilowatt hour. So this is what the electrical company is going to sell it to you and you have a 100 watt light bulb. So first, we need to figure out how many kilowatt hours there is. So we need to first take our 100 watts, figure out and multiply that by how many hours is in a year. So we take 365 days times 24 hours. That's gonna give me how many hours. And so that gives me 876 
thousand watt hours. So that's just multiplying your hours you use times your wattage. Now we need to change that ki that wattage to kilowatts. And so to do that, we're just going to take that number and divide it by a thousand. So that just drops off three zeros. So that becomes eight hundred. 876 kilowatt hours. So all you're doing is you're changing your wattage into kilowatts and how many hours. And remember, and it could be 24 hours a day for one year. It could be in a month, which is what our power companies measure it. It could be in a day. You just got to make sure you are measuring it in hours and then you multiply those two numbers, your kilowatts times your hours. Then you multiply that times the total amount of money that the company, the power company sells, 8.84 cents per kilowatt hour. So you measure that 8 8.76 kilowatts times the 8.84 cents, and that gives you 7,743.84, but that's not dollars, that's cents. So you need to change that into dollars. So you divide by 100, and that costs you to run a light bulb, a 100 watt light bulb, for 24 hours a day for one solid year is going to cost you in a year's time 77 dollars and 44 cents. So it's a little expensive, but what you're going to do is you're going to go and find um, stuff in your electrical appliances around your house. Uh, if it's plugged in to a wall socket it is 120 volts and then on every electrical device that is not a computer-based device it will list its wattage or its current now if it's an electrical if it's electronic meaning it has uh, it's like a computer TV uh, gaming system your phone those all have a little they're gonna be in, uh, included on the little box either in the plug itself that you plug into the wall the little box that's your plug or it's on that little box that's connecting your computer to the wall read that and it will tell you how much input it'll say 120 volts at certain current but you want to read the 20 the output which will give you like 5 volts and 2.2 milliamps so that's the one you're going to want is the output so you can look at your tv your computer whatever device you want and then you're going to then turn those into kilowatts, then multiply by how many hours you use it in a month. So you're going to estimate roughly on how much you use it. If is it is your hair dryer on all 24 hours a day for an entire month? No. Uh, use a month, and um, we'll do a 30-day month. That's easy, nice math, and figure out how on estimate it. So don't just give a rough estimate on how long it's on. And then do the activity. Do different things. Don't do the same light bulb. Do light bulb number one, light bulb number two. Pick different devices. A television, an, uh, a entertainment system, a gaming system, your phone, uh, you know, your refrigerators even. You can pull your refrigerator out, look in the back side, it will list it. And then while you're back there, you can clean your underneath your fridge even. So just pick different devices. Uh, dryers, an electric dryer would be fun to do. And anything that produces heat or cools rooms down, those will be particularly interesting. So if you have any further questions, go ahead and ask your teacher.